if you do something repeatedly and you have to continue to do it, or if somebody else has to continue to do it, uh, there's too much room for error. There's, there's too many failure points within that quote unquote system. And that's one of the things that I had to realize is even when you don't have a system, you actually have a system. Your system is not having a system and you having to recreate it or, or, or redo it on the fly every single time. And that's not where you want to be. That's not what you want to do. So what are some of the things that, that you can start to do to start to put some structure, some processes to have actual documented standard operating procedures so that you can then start to replace yourself and you know that you have reliable systems and SOPs where somebody can produce the same result over and over. Some of the things I wanted to share with you as far as uh, creating systems and processes and SOPs and uh, what are some practical steps that you can actually do to go about doing that. Um, a good friend of mine, Dan Schwartz, uh, you know, I actually, I was on a mastermind call and, and he was presenting on this topic and he's, he's a ninja when it comes to this type of stuff. He has a very similar process, although, you know, he's kind of uh, put it more on a spreadsheet. And so, uh, but essentially, you know, his, his categories are, so my, my category is, you know, revenue generating activity that you enjoy revenue generating that you don't enjoy and so on. His are, you know, the first one is what are the things you love that you're great at? Number two is what are the things that you like that you're good at? Number three, the things that you don't like and you're good at. And then number four, the things that you don't like and you're not good at. So very similar to mine, but, you know, from there uh, on, on a spreadsheet, you can just start to like uh, document what are these different tasks? What departments do they fall in? How long do these things take you? Um, and don't get overwhelmed with this process. You know, um, it, it's actually one, once you, hopefully you take me up on that challenge of documenting where you're spending your time for an entire week. Once you do that and you transfer it into one of these four columns or categories, um, all you got to do is focus on the first one. Don't worry about task two through 10, just focus on the first one that is taking a lot of your time. That's non-revenue generating that you don't enjoy. Um, and, uh, and I think, uh, you know, I think that's how you start to actually, uh, create structure and processes and systems around the business so that it can function without you. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate that, um, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be in Greece for about three weeks with my family and, uh, the business isn't going to stop, right? Because there's some, some of these processes and systems in place. 